when you are looking at floor plans of drawings, you will, for example, see a door symbol tag. Now, the door tag is frequently a circle with a letter included inside the circle. So this circle and the letter would reference to a door schedule, and in that schedule, the actual description of the door would be included. For the windows, we might have somebody using a hexagon adjacent to the window. The hexagon would include a number inside it, and the number would then be relating over to a window schedule, and in the window schedule, the specifics of the window would be detailed. You will see many, many keynote symbols on a floor plan. These are typically callouts where you'll have a number in a box, there will be an arrow that will point to something, and on the keynote schedule will be a list of all of the components that are using this keynote tag. We also have room IDs. With the room IDs, you'll typically have the name of the room and the room number. Please note that we are using standard shapes for these elements, circles, hexagons, squares, and rectangles. These are typical for many projects, but depending on the designer or the CAD library used, these may be different shapes. You may see keynotes or window symbols as circles. To be safe, always check the symbol legends and schedules just to be sure. We also have exterior elevation callouts. So what's going to happen is that on the floor plan, I might have a symbol that looks like this or a symbol that looks like this. And what this is saying is in order to see the elevation of the building that would be drawn up here, go look on page A2.1 at image one. Another example would be if I had an elevation being built over here, I would have the number two over an A2.1, meaning if you want to see the building elevation that's over here to the right, and you can see the big arrow pointing to the right, go look on page A2.1 at image two. We will also have building section callouts. Building section symbols work together. Building sections are typically slices through a building that show everything from the footings all the way up to the roof structure. If I had these symbols on a floor plan, the two view markers would be connected by a line. This line could be broken so that it does not interfere with the drawing information inside of the building. And these symbols are saying, to see the building section that's cut through here, go look on page A3.1 at image one, and you will see that building section. Similar to the building section is the wall section. This callout looks very similar, but it is the little hat compared with the big hat on the building section. The wall section will only cut through part of the building usually the wall and some of the connected floors, ceilings, and roofs. If we look at the symbol, this horizontal line would say that the wall section is cut through here, so it's looking through the wall that goes right here. So there's the slice, but it's cutting through the wall section right there. It's looking up. You can see the arrow. You can see the little leader end and it would say, go look on page A4.1, image one, to see the wall section.